Oh, good day. Now look at this. This is what we call my 60 degrees square. It has the angle of both 60, 30, and 90. When it's standing majestically like this, this edge here that you're seeing, this edge is 90 degree. Why this inclined edge here is what we call our 60 degree when it is standing. Now, when it is sitting this way, hmm, this long edge here is what is 30. How good? This long edge here is 30. Why this steep edge here is what? 60. So, but we're focusing more on this when it is sitting and when it is standing. So, let's now see how it goes. Now, the other aspect is the 45 degrees square. The 45 degrees square, square, all the edge are what? 45 degree. This edge is 45, this edge is 45. And if it's standing like this also, this edge here is what? 45, the inclined edge. Why this vertical point is what? 90. So let's use our compass, our set square, as a base in drawing our 60 degree set. So if I place my T square like this, right? And I draw an horizontal line, faint or thick line like this. So this is my point A, and this is what my point B. Right? What I will do is I want to draw 60 degree. I will take my C square, ensuring that your T square is tangential to the edge, just like I showed in the other video. I will move it. Since I want it to be on this point, if it's like this, it doesn't really make any sense. So I'll move it, I'll turn it the other way around, like this. All good? So, I'll take it to that edge, this edge here, you guys are seeing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draw it this way, from this point. So this is my what? My angle, 30 degree. So I can use my compass. And draw this this way so that is my angle what 60 degree can you see the way I got my 60 degree 60 degree I using your set square now if I want to get my um, 40 30 degree that means I will have to bisect 60 and how would I go about that now look at this if I take my T square, my set my T square, I just take a point like this, draw from here to here, A B. Right? This is my A. And this is what? My B. How good? If I use my set square, placing it on the edge like this so that I can move on my T square, I move the set square until it gets to my point A, just like I do in the other one. But I won't make it a thick line now. For a very visible line, I'll make it a faint line because I don't really want my 60. What I'm looking for is what 30 degree. So, what will I do? I'm going to bisect. I'm going to what? I am going to what? Bisect. So, in bisecting, I'll take my compass at any given radius, maybe 10 millimeter or 15. I'll place it at this edge here. Right? And I'm going to draw an arc this way. Is that the key? So drawing that arc, you place it this way. If you like, you can increase it and place it like this. And draw an arc like this. Can you see? So in doing that, I'll use the same radius. And I'll place it here where it meets the horizontal line. I'll draw an arc. I'll come to the other point too. I'll draw another arc. Right? So where they meet at this point here. I'm going to join the line. I'm going to join it. So I'm going to draw passing through here. So the angle between here and here, this is what? 30 degree. So I bisect 60 to get 30. If I want to get 15, what will I do? I'm going to bisect. Bisection means into two. 
Then I'm going to cut this angle into two. How will I do that? Now look at this. Now if I want to get my 15 degree, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just take a point from here to here. Say so this is my point A. And this is what my point B. Right? Now I don't really need um, the, the 60. So maybe I'll place it this way. This is 60. We know this is 60 when it's standing. This is angle 60. Since I don't need it, I'll use faint line. I'll draw. Right? I don't need feet, um, 60. Neither do I need 30. This is 30. This is 30. This is 30. I don't really need 30. So we know this is first one is 60. This one is 30. But if I bisect, let me put this way, 30, and this is what, 60. So if I bisect this 30, this is 0. This baseline is always 0. So if I bisect this 0 to 30, I'll get 15. Bisecting means dividing the angle by 2. So if I place it like this, I can just bisect from here to here. I'll place it here. And I'll place it here. So in doing that, I will now join those two points to the center here. So it should be touching the base here, as in at this point here. It should be like this. Are we good? So the angle in between here and here is what? 15 degree. Is that the king? Are we good? So. If you move further, you bisect 15 to what? We having 7.5. If you continue bisecting, that means you have your baseline, you get your 60, you get your 30, you get your 15, and you get your what? 7.5. And so on and so forth. So, let's move. So don't forget, this is the zero and this is the angle 15. If I bisect it further, I'll get what? I'll get 7.5 or 7 and a half. If I bisect it again, I'll be having 3, three quarter and so on and so forth. So, on the nutshell, to save our time, is that from 60, I divide 60 by 2, I'm going to get 30. I divide 30 by 2, I'll get 15. I divide 15 by 2, I'm going to get 7.5 or 7.5, right? If I divide 7.5 or 7.5 by 2, I'll get what? 3, 3 quarter, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much.